Hey there, it's Bobby Legs, and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches. And in this video, we're going to discuss eight chronograph watches made by eight different German brands, all of which are going to be under 3K, under $3,000. Now, some of these, you're definitely going to recognize the brands, and there's maybe a couple there that you won't, but uh, maybe this is a good opportunity to expand our knowledge base on German watchmaking. So let's get right at it. Now, the uh, first watch here that we're gonna see is a brand called, from a brand called Aristo. Now, Aristo was um, founded in 1907 in Forsyth, Germany. And now they're mainly um, known for making affordable Flieger uh, pilot type watches using quartz or, or some movements here, but you have this handsome watch, the Aristo Flieger 40, uh, chronograph, uh, very, very good dimensions. Uh, you got the 40 millimeter case diameter, uh, 48 uh, millimeter lug to lug, 50 millimeter water resistance. You have a 316 L stainless steel uh, matte sandblasted. But here's the thing you have a Salita SW500, a real uh, good workhorse chronograph movement, all for under a thousand dollars, $990 on Noma, Noman watches. And every once in a while, they throw in a 10% uh, uh, discount site-wise. Uh, so you can potentially get this watch for under $900. Now, you're not going to be wowed by the finishing of the case and the movement. But to get a, a German-made uh, uh, watch, um, at least, you know, from a company uh, from Germany, um, with a Swiss movement here for under, potentially under $900, um, that's, that's a pretty impressive uh, package. Uh, moving to the next watch, the Stova Chronograph 1938 Black. If you're into German watches, you know about Stova. It's a legendary uh, German brand. Now, this particular chronograph uh, was influenced by an old pocket watch from 1938. A little bigger than the dimensions than the Aristo with the 50 millimeter lug to lug, but uh, you know, stainless steel. Very, very beautiful looking piece. Very, very simple. Uh, quite different from what you think of Sova, which is a whole lot of Flieger, right? Um, so just a really interesting piece here for around $2,700 with the Baoju 7753. Uh, next is the Laco Kill the Two Schwartz. I, I really like this watch. It kind of reminds me of a IWC uh, Pilot Corona, right? It, it looks very, very similar, but guess what? You know, for maybe a quarter or a third of the price, uh, than a new one, than a new IWC, right? Uh, typical pilot style dimensions here with a 43 millimeter case diameter and a lug to lug of 51 and a half, 100 meter water resistance. You have the SW500 movement here for around 2650 from their website. Pretty, pretty impressive package for the price for sure. Uh, moving on to the next piece here, uh, Young Hands. Meister Driver Chronoscope. I really like this watch. Uh, you know, I'm going to add a Young Hands eventually to the collection. This may be the one. Uh, this may be the one here. Uh, really great proportions will fit any wrist with the 45 and a half lug to lug. You have a ETA 2892 with a, a Dubois, Dubois Dupra, uh 2030. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name, but that is a chronograph uh, module that is integrated uh, with the uh, movement, uh, tw just sh over twenty seven hundred dollars, uh, and you can see that in exquisitetimepieces.com. A beautiful lacquered dial, very interesting by compacts here uh, with the um, with the dial layout. I just really, really like this piece. It's just so just so different, and especially different compared to a lot of what Young Hands um, offers. They it's very very utilitarian look, very um, Bauhaus looking, uh, which I'm not necessarily crazy about. You'll see a lot of brands with that look and I appreciate it, um, but I need something with a little bit uh, more flair. It's just a little too simple of a style for me. And I think this fits the bill, especially from Young Hand's point of view for, for me. Uh, next is the Guinot uh, Dual uh, Indicator. Uh, a little brief history on Guinot. Guinot was, uh, I believe, a Swiss brand. They used to make 
cases for Zinn. And then when Hellman Zinn sold the company and in retirement, when he I guess was bored, uh, he got back into watchmaking and he uh, bought, you know, brought it to Germany. And you'll see, and maybe not necessarily with this piece here, but with other pieces in the Gino catalog, look, they'll look very, very familiar to, to what Hellman Zinn did with his previous uh, company, uh, Zen. Uh, got a great looking piece here, uh, Salida um, SW500 um, with the um, the movement. Uh, you have the anti-magnetic and shock with all the DIN certifications. Um, really good proportions, a little bit on the thick side for most people, not for me. Water resistance at 200 meters for 2,400. Wow, what a great price on that piece. Um, just an interesting looking watch and, and something that if you haven't heard of Gino, you should you should consider. Uh, moving to uh, Zen. Uh, and this is a piece that I actually have in my collection, the Zen 144. Now there's a whole lot of chronos um, offered by Zen, but they've been going up and up in price. So there's not actually many that you'll see under that $3,000 price. Uh, sure, you'll see uh, some 103s, um, some three, five, sixes, which I also have, but I wanted to pick something that was a little bit different uh, than your typical uh, Zen pilot chronograph. And you can see here, if this looks familiar, the 144, it's heavily influenced by that Porsche design of uh, chrono that they did in the 70s, uh, the uh, integrated brace of chrono. A look that I like, and, and again, I have this watch. I love it. Great dimensions on this one. I have it on the strap. Uh, thinking about getting the bracelet to put it on, even though I'm not a big fan of Zen bracelets, but I think if I'm going to get a bracelet on a Zen watch, this is the watch I'm going to do it uh, with. Um, 2740 on on the strap, uh, just a great looking piece. You don't really see too many of those in the secondary market. They're they're not um, that readily available. Um, so uh, this is probably a fair price point for this one. Uh, going to the next piece is a Damasco, my good friend. Amin from Amin Reviews has this watch, uh, the DC82 Orange Central Minutes Chrono. They also do different colorways for this uh, piece. Has Damasco Chronograph Movement, the C51-2, which is an in-house movement, but it's heavily inspired by the Lamania 5100. You got all the DIN certifications here with the anti-magnetism and, uh, and the shock. Uh, ice hardened stainless steel case, um, really it's 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 very hard to to nick this up. It's gonna look good for a long period of time. And if you see one of these in the secondary market for a less price, go for it because it could be a few years old and it's gonna look very very new. Great dimensions on this one as well. Just a cool looking watch. Uh, highly recommend Damasco. I have I have a few. Uh, and finally, one of my favorite watches on this list, and that is the Hanhart Four Seventeen ES the reverse panda flyback column wheel chronograph. Great dimensions on this piece. Uh, it's a 39 case uh, diameter here. They also offer it in a 42. Um, the new manufactured AMT caliber 5100. Now this is AMT, a, AMT is an a arm of Salida. So this is uh, made by Salida and it has uh, the column wheel right which makes it nice and easy to press that 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 engage that chrono button and uh, and the flyback functionality which is very cool the sub dials here are, are loomed uh so it, you'll see a nice little uh reverse panda look in, in in the dark time anyway great great piece 2660 man if you can find this watch in secondary market for for under two like 18 1900 i've seen i've seen them i've seen them on there um it's it's a great buy and uh and this surely is in in the next in the top five watches for me to uh, uh that i'm gonna buy and, and whenever that comes I, I like this one i like the young hands and, and several other pieces but those two on this list i really really like um anyway guys let me know what you think what is your favorite chrono on this list or do you have another chronograph watch that you have in mind that's under 3k that's made uh, from a from a german company uh, please put it in the comment below. I would love to hear what you have to say. And uh, I'll see you guys then in the next video. Take care.